Can we start this story off with a hashtag no more funny business in the comments? In case anyone's out of the loop on that meme, it's F-U-N-I, Funimation. No more funny business. Funimation likes to do funny business. It's really weird. I don't know what's wrong with them. Today, we're taking a look back at Azure Lane, and I want to give a shout out to the Azure Lane community. You guys have been awesome. Uh, some of you joining my Discord server and filling me in on the mobile game. But today, we're taking a look at the anime, taking a look at the dub version from Funimation over on Senkaku Complex. They write, Funimation Butcher, Azure Lane, English dub with horrid German accents. Now, to get the full scoop of this story, I have gone over to YouTube, taking a look at clips of this character in the sub. And she sounds just like a normal Japanese woman doing a sub. Well, I guess in you know Japan, it would be just a normal dub for them. But for us, it would be the sub. And it sounds normal. All the characters, as far as I understand, don't have some uh, fake accent that they're trying to force on them. But oddly enough, in the dub, it seems like they have taken that appro approach for this character, Prinz Ugin. Hopefully, I pronounced it right. German, uh, German waifu here. So you can see, I know a lot of people are going to like this picture. It's a, it's a good looking character says it seems anime fans may have a reason, or more reason perhaps, to despise Funimation for something other than their forced inclusion of relevant politics, as their dub for Azure Lane anime adaption has given Prinz Ugin a heavily fake-sounding German accent. Some of Prinz Ugin movements in the show featuring voice acting that is more befitting of a abridged parody, and that seems pretty accurate. I, uh, I'll, I'll play some of the audio for you. Listen to this. The siren ships? That was quite impressive. Even if they were merely mass production models. Ian's Enterprise, y'all. Yeah? Also known as Gregor. And the same scene in the sub, listen. <laughs> Sounds like a hot anime chick, like normal, without the cringy dub factor in there. That's all I'm gonna play. I don't wanna be infringing on the IP of this, uh, of this anime here, but that gives you enough of an example. Very forest, and if you want more examples, by all means, look it up. But let's continue on with this article and see, see what they say here. So, more examples, pictures, good pictures, and that, ooh, yeah, there you go, donuts or something. That's pretty nice. So they write, This is not the first time, and most likely not the last, that Funimation has taken bizarre liberties with the anime they've seized for their platform, as both you know and Senko-san uh, also contain incredibly out-of-place dialogue alterations. Not to mention the insertion of politics into shows such as Prison School and Hajimeto no Gaul. The heavily fan-serviced Azure Lane is currently airing in Japan and is also thankfully, thankfully being subbed. So I just don't understand why they're doing this. Now, Azure Lane people, if you wouldn't mind helping me out with this one again, I mentioned some of you are in the Discord. And on that note, if you want to join the Discord server, link is in the description. It's open to the public. This is not a normal thing, right? Uh, as far as I understand and, and that I've seen with my own research, the characters don't really have this stereotype, uh, stereotype forced, <laughs> almost sounding a bridge dub. So I don't understand what they're doing there. I'll show you one more example here from the uh, prison school dub where they changed the context. The sub had nothing to do with Gamergate at all. And the Funimation dub actually says uh, this. Or are you one of those dumbass Gamergate creep shows? <laughs> Can you believe that? They literally inject politics into their anime. They usually avoid it on the main like flagship anime because they would get called out so massively but they sneakily do it in some of the more like slightly more low-key ones uh and then try to i think i don't know man in my opinion try to brainwash people it's like literally propaganda in my opinion man people don't watch anime to hear about uh, how bad gamergate is they're watching anime to to watch anime and enjoy entertainment so it's quite absurd and i'm just gonna say this right now the audio i played is so minimal and you don't get the full experience of watching that anime and hearing the whole thing and watching the whole thing. What I'm getting at is this is absolutely fair use. If there's any sort of ridiculous copyright claim on this video, it will blow up so badly for Funimation that uh, <laughs> we'll see. If something happens, I will let you guys know. And I'm sure that story will be covered massively uh, by many media outlets and many other YouTubers. So we'll see. We'll see uh, if Fun Funimation will be that petty or not. Let's take a look at some of the comments in this uh, in this write-up and see what the people say about this. What's the point of an English dub on an anime anyways? Original Japanese dub clearly superior and the way it's supposed to be watched. Well, you know, I will stand up for dubs a little bit, not Funimation specifically. I'm not going to be doing that. But there are times I'll watch a dub if I'm multitasking 
you know, sometimes it's a busy day, but I still want to get some anime in there. And I'll have a dub on while I'm working on something. If it's sub, obviously I can't do that because I got to be focused on that. Also, I'm a slow reader just by default. So sometimes I do prefer the dub because I can't keep up if the sub goes really quick. But hey, I, uh, I, I do mostly enjoy sub for the most part. But I got to say there are times where I personally do enjoy the dub. Just being honest, you guys can dislike me for saying that if you want. It's all good. Another uh, person writes, in this instance, it, uh, if they really bothered enough to have German sounding voices, they could have easily paid Germans to actually voice the characters. It's a good point. Most Germans speak English as a second language, and surprisingly enough, Germany does have actual anime dubbing. So there's probably someone out there who would fly over if the costs were paid by Funimation. Well, here's the thing with Funimation that we've learned over the months. It seems like Funimation has a very clicky culture, especially Texas click of Funimation specifically. Very clicky. They like to use the same people, and maybe that's the situation here. Why hire a good sounding voice when you could just use someone in your inner circle? Screw bringing someone new in, unless they bend the knee to all your internal politics. And if they don't, well, why don't we just make up a story about them and, and then get them, you know, <laughs> kicked out of the whole industry? Get their whole career ruined forever. That certainly has never happened before with Funimation and uh, Funimation employees or contractors, whatever the heck you want to call it. Certainly, Funimation would never do that. Hashtag no more funny business. Wrapping this video up now, I hope you enjoyed. If you are subscribed to this channel, please double check that you are and that your notifications are working. I'm sure you've heard it from other people as well, and I'm sure you might be annoyed by that, and I apologize. But it is what it is, man. We got to do what we got to do. I got shouts out for the kind people who promoted my last videos over on Twitter, and we got a lot, so I'm going to try to read through these pretty quick. Uh, here we go. Jordan, Avant, Ishra, DX, you get to Ambipass Studio, Lancaster Kid, Jordan, Avant, Striker, Red, King, Debo, uh, Yuri, Kazuto, Shinke, John Edwards, Spinmaster Rock, that Jordan, Avant, Jordan, Avant, Jordan, Avant, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, Ishra, Lancaster Kid, Savage Demon, Code Next, Mitsuro Okami, John Edwards, Game Wizard 02, Professor Chaos 56, Ollie Woolly Games, Skelly Kitty, Kitty Shine, Joshua B, Trees Come Before Halloween, and I'm Wesley the Strategist. Oh, and uh, Trees Come Before Halloween one more time. Thank you all very much, and I'll see you in the next one.